Fort Benton man has defied the odds when it comes to cancer. Instead of going through the usual round of chemotherapy, he decided on alternative treatment. And uh, while it may not be the reason for his amazing recovery, it was enough to make him a believer. These days, Joseph Curl is whistling a happy tune. About four months ago, the song was all but over. Okay. He went to the doctor for what he thought was an ear infection, which turned out to be much worse. Small cell lung cancer, aggressive type. It made him an immediate chemotherapy and radiation candidate. I said no one goes directly into chemo when they're diagnosed with cancer. That doesn't happen. The, the tumor was about the size of my hand, and it was wrapped around my throat. What Dr. War explained to me was that um, he would have been dead within hours. His daughter Amberly dropped everything, leaving her job in Washington, yeah. headed for Montana, unprepared for what she was about to see. This is the very first uh, x-ray image that was taken. The entire right side of his face was black. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Um, my dad looked like he was dead already. Joseph underwent the first of several scheduled rounds of experimental and grueling chemo. It was absolutely horrible. I said, if this is the quality of life that you can offer me, doing chemotherapy, radiation. I don't want it. I would rather get on the boat and go. The ex-Marine kicked his nearly one pack a day cigarette habit and did some research. He eliminated meat and sugar from his diet and decided to take Rick Simpson oil or RSO. Named after a Canadian wellness advocate, its main ingredient is pure tetrahydrocannabinol or THC. But I, I, I didn't want RSO for, to get stoned. I wanted to kill the cancer. Over three months, he took a graduated regimen of 60 grams of RSO and says his last checkup was nothing short of a miracle. Cancer is not there. It's not in remission. It is not in my body. Okay, and the doctor is still trying to figure out how that's possible. Joseph says one drawback in Montana is the cost of RSO at $40 a gram. He was able to obtain the drug out of state at a fraction of that price. I am on Social Security disability. Okay, I'm a very limited income. And there's people out there like me that are dying because they can't afford this medication. Joseph and his doctors can't say for sure what made the cancer disappear. Joseph says it could have been the RSO, the new diet, a strong faith, or even his military mentality. Marines are known to be tenacious. It doesn't matter if you've been out of the Corps for 50 years. Okay, you're just, they're just, they're like bulldogs. There wasn't a single moment that he outwardly thought he was going to die or would say anything like that. He couldn't, I'd ask him, like, are you scared? And he's like, scared or what? Had to cut a hole in the ceiling. The longtime carpenter who has lived in Fort Benton for five years is back at his maintenance job at the Fort Motel. My daughter here, she, she's my girl. And for Amberly, who was so worried about losing her father that she recorded that beloved whistling, the chorus continues. <laughs> And Joseph says he continues to take the RSO oil in smaller doses. He says he never drives or operates heavy machinery while under its influence.